grade 4. So, this is Teacher Cell. Ang lesson natin na pag-aaralan today is about MDAS. Nakarinig na ba kayo or alam niyo na ba ang ibig sabihin ng MDAS? Okay, so para ba saan ang MDAS or MDAS rule? So, alamin mo natin ang ano ang ibig sabihin ng MDAS. MDAS is ginagamit ito kids when we are solving more than two operations. Anong ibig sabihin nun? Katulad ng example natin. 9 plus 6 divided by 3 times 2 is equal to ano ang sagot? So, for uh, for this sentence, 9 plus 6 divided by 3 times 2, merong rules dyan, kids, para hindi kayo magkakamali. So, we will be using the MDAS rule. So, ano ba yung MDAS? M stands for multiplication. D stands for division. A stands for addition. And S stands for subtraction. Madali lang, ba? Again, ano nga ulit? Multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. Or, multiply, divide, add, subtract. So, huwag kalimutan, ulitin natin. Multiply, divide, add, subtract. So, for this uh, mathematical sentence, or mathematic sentence, um, gagamitin natin, ng, gagamitin natin ang MDAS rule. So, ibig sabihin, mauna muna ang ang gagawin natin is unahin muna natin what is the operation to be used. So, first, multiply, divide, add, and subtract. So, ang gagawin natin, kids, meron din itong rules. So, ang titignan nyo muna is from left to right. Ang operation na titignan, again, kids, sa kalimutan, from left to right. From left to right. Kung, ani, kung alin ang mauuna. Kung ang nakita nyo na una ay division, so, divide nyo. Pag ang nauna naman ay multiplication, then, mumultiply nyo. Pag nauna naman ang addition, i-add nyo. Pag subtraction na una, na-subtract nyo. So, magkahimala ito kids, sa Itong dalawang to. So, meaning, M at saka D, tapos, A at saka S. So, multiply, division, add, Subtraction. So, for this uh, sentence, i-apply natin yung rules. Paano ba yung teacher? So, 9 plus 6 divided by 3 times 2. So, anong nauna? Nakita nyo may plus. E, ang rule natin is multiply, divide. So, hindi muna natin ito unahin. So, anong susunod na operation? Nakita nyo is Division. So, meaning, magda-divide tayo. Kung papasin nyo, kids, division tapos naging multiplication. So, ano mauna? Division or multiplication? So, sabi sa rules, tingnan left to right. Ano, alin ba ang nauna? Ang division or multiplication. So, for this sentence, nauna ang division. So, ang una natin gagawin is magda-divide tayo. Okay? Divide. Tapos, since MD, multiply division, or multiply divide, ang next na operation gagawin is multiply na. Okay? Multiply. Divide, then multiply. Pag natapos na ang divide and multiply, balik na kayo dito. Kasi ang next is addition or subtraction. So, ang next operation is add. Now, let us solve. Sabi natin, gagawin natin ng first, divide, then next, multiply, then number three is add. So, let us have an example about uh, using MDAS rule. So, again, what is MDAS rule? It is used in solving two or more operations. In our example, we have 6 plus 3 times 6 
minus 4 is equal to yan. So, yan ang isasolve natin today. Ano po unahin ninyo? Magpa-plus ba kayo? Magmumultiply ba kayo? Or magmaminus kayo? For this, um, for this sentence, we need to follow rules. So, we're going to use the M does rule. Ano ibig sabihin ulit ng M does? Multiply or multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. Or multiply, divide, add, and subtract. Ito kids, in a certain uh, sentence like this, first, di ba sabi dito, M-D-A-S. So, itong dalawang to, kung alin ang una nyo makikita from left, from left to right. Okay, for, so from left to right, i-check nyo ano mga una. Nauna ba ang multiplication? Nauna ba ang division? And then same thing with the A and S, so addition and subtraction. Left to right then. So for this example, 6 plus 3 times 6 minus 4. So ano ang rules ulit natin? M does. Multiply, divide. Ito mo na kids, ha? tingnan nyo kung meron bang yung multiply or meron i-divide. Meron ba yung multiply dito? Yes, meron. Ito, di ba? So, unahin ninyo, I mean, ito na yung gagawin natin kasi wala namang iba. So, wala namang division. So, automatic, mauna ang multiplication. So, what do we do? First, we multiply. Di ba? Mumultiply natin. Next, after multiplying, pag na-multiply na natin, ano ang next? Wala namang division, di ba? Addition, subtraction. So, ano ang nauna, kids? Nauna ba from left ang addition or subtraction? So, pag unang tingin, at, I mean, titingin mo na kayo, kids, sa left, pap papunta sa right. So, ang nauna, of course, is addition. So, ang gagawin natin is mag add tayo. And then, tapos na natin yan, plus na is, magsusubtract na tayo. Okay? So, let us now compute. Multiply. So, 3 times 6 is equal to 18. Okay? After 18, anong next? Now, daw, mag-add tayo. Add. So, ito, meron tayo ina-add dito. So, 6 so, uh, lagay mo yung 6 dito, and then plus. And then, dito na yung 4, di ba? Okay, so 6 plus 18 is equal to, 6 plus 18 is equal to 20, <coughs> right? And then, Tapos na tayo sa addition, magsusubtract na tayo last na operation natin. 24 minus 4 is equal to 20. Okay? So, eto ang tamang sagot. If we don't follow the M dash rule, kids, iba ang lalabas na sagot. Okay? So, we always follow the M dash rule. Multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. Now, let's try another example. Okay, now let's proceed to our second example. 9 divided by 3 times 3 plus 8. So, anong una natin gagawin? By, so, by following the MDAS rule, ano ang pakita ninyo ng operation from left to right? Division, multiplication, addition. Ano na una? Division. So, sabi sa MDAS rule, multiplication or division. So, nandito ang multiplication, nandito ang division. Ano unahin natin? So, since siya ang naunang na unang uh, makikita or unang operation from left to right, ito ang ipapalong natin. Hindi pwede ito unahin natin multiplication. Okay, baka malito kayo ha. Ay, teacher kasi sabi dito, multiply daw una, hindi. So, kung alin ang unang operation na makikita from left to right. So, since dito, yung division ang nauna, kaya magdivide tayo. Pero kung nauna ang multiplication, then magmumultiply tayo. So, since nauna ang division dito, so, number one step is we are going to divide. Okay? So, check na. Divide na. Next is, magmumultiply na tayo. Okay? 
multiply. And then, the third operation is, of course, mag-a-add na tayo. Now, let's solve. Divide. 9 divided by 3 is equal to 3. Then, we multiply. Ito. So, 3 times 3 is equal to 3 times 3 is equal to 9. Magkalimutan lang dito plus 8. Baka makalimutan 9. And then, we're going to add na yung last operation. 9 plus 8 is equal to 17. So, this is now the correct answer. Hindi pwedeng mag mauna yung plus, mauna yung minus, mauna yung division or multiplication. So, this is the proper way in solving uh, two or more operations by following the MDAS rule. Now, let us have another example. Example number three. Four times five minus six plus thirteen. Okay, so meron tayong multiplication, subtraction, and addition. By following the MDAS rule, ano makikita niyo na unang operation? Multiplication. So, tamang-tama. So, M or D. Of course, we multiply. First step is we're going to multiply. Next operation is may minus at saka may addition. So, sabi dito A at saka. Kasi hindi porket na, nakita nyo dito addition, eto unahin nyo. So, diba sabi, may rules tayo left to right. Eh, ang nauna sa addition and subtraction is yung subtraction. So, nangu minus tayo. So, number 2 is subtract. And then, the final operation is, of course, you addition. So, we're going to add. Now, let's compute. 4 times 5 is equal to 20. Happy natin. Ang tema nito. So, 20 minus 6 is equal to because the second operation is subtract. So, subtract na natin. 20 minus 6 is equal to 14. Ayan, kapag subtract na tayo, then print down mo na yung next operation. So, mag-add na tayo, the third operation. So, 14 plus 13 is equal to 27. So, the correct answer is 27. Okay, now let us have another example. The fourth example is 24 minus 6 divided by 6 times 4. So, by following the MDAS rule again, Ano ang nakikita natin na operation? Una natin nakita is subtraction. Kaya lang, hindi pa naman tayo magsusubtract kasi we must follow the MDAS rule. Which is, dapat hanapin muna natin kung meron bang multiplication or kung meron bang division sa isusolve natin. So, dito, may division at saka multiplication. E eh, nauna tong minus. So, hindi muna siya mauna. Okay? Kasi, ang dapat daw mauna is multiplication muna or division. Okay, so ano yung next operation? Yun, meron na division. Division and multiplication. So, ano yung mauna? M or D? Of course, division. Pero kung nauna itong multiplication, syempre, multiplication ang gagawin natin. So, ano yung first gagawin? Mag-divide muna tayo. So, first kids na ident identify nyo muna kung ano ang Gagawin para hindi kayo mali nito. So, first, we divide. Next, tapos na tayo sa division. Meron lang division. Eh, meron multiplication. So, ito na yung next. So, divide and then we multiply. Okay, next. The third operation. Ito na yun. Yung subtraction. So, we subtract. Now, let us um, compute. Sabi, mag-divide tayo, di ba? Identify na natin kung anong gagawin na first operation, second, and the third operation. So, we divide. At alin ba mag-divide natin dyan? Of course, itong dalawa. So, 6 divided by 6 is equal to 1. Di ba? And then, after that, we multiply. Okay, so, baba muna natin ito para hindi tayo makalimot. Baba muna natin yun. Times 4. So, sabi dyan, we, tapos na sa divide, now we multiply. So, ito na yung multiply natin. 1 times 4. So, 1 times 4 is equal to 
24. O, baba mo lang ulit itong 24 at saka yung minus. Diba? So, the last thing to do is we, we're going to subtract. So, 24 minus 4 is equal to 20. So, ito yung final answer. Okay? Okay, kids, for your assignment, I want you to do pages 92 to 94 dito sa inyong math book. Submission will be on April 25, Monday. So, please send your answers. Take a picture of your answers. Dapat clear ang pag-picture niya para ma-check ko ng mabuti. And, we're going to submit that April 25, Monday. Okay? So, see you next week. Mm -hmm.